Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. And you have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. And you have been so, so kind to me. And all the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God, oh, it traces me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. your foe, still your love fought for me, and you have been so, so good to me, when I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. You have been so, so kind to me And all the overwhelming, never-ending Reckless love of God Oh, it chases me down Fights till I'm found Leaves the 99 And I couldn't earn it And I don't deserve it Shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't Coming after me and all the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves a 99. And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. I love how that song talks about the overwhelming nature of God's love for his kids, for you, for me. Um, just such a such a beautiful thing. Um, it reminds me of just how amazing our God's love for us is. And think about this. The Bible tells us that 
God's mercies are new every morning. It's painting a picture of just this unending merciful God. Like when we mess up, when you mess up, when I mess up, which happens a lot, uh, God's love is there. His mercy is there for us. It is new every morning. And today I want to talk about new things. You may be thinking, Mr. Ryan, why are you in this strange, um, strange angle with this strange background behind you? Well, this back here is my son's new loft bed. Um, we, as most of you know, my wife is about to have a baby, like any time now in the next uh, couple of weeks, and we needed to make some space in our place for the new baby's stuff. So we said, Jack, we'll, uh, we'll make you a loft bed. So this is Jack's new loft bed. He sleeps real close to the ceiling now, uh, and he's loving it. It's new, it's fun, he's loving it. New things, new things are awesome. I tried to get him to be in this video, um, but he refused, he was a little shy. But I might include some bonus footage at the end uh, if I can, if I can work that in. So, wait till the end, and you can see Jack. Um, new things. We are starting a new week after spring break, and and holiday weeks are always, always cool for me because when I go on break, say Christmas vacation, or coming back from summer vacation, or here in the last week coming back from spring break. Being away and kind of pausing your routine, for me, it starts like, uh, it has this bit of reset. When I, when I come back to work or when you come back to school, think about how you feel. It, it, there's a bit of a reset, right? You're excited about getting back into the rhythm of a new school year or maybe a new calendar year uh, when, it's, when it's New Year's and then we, we begin a new calendar year. January feels fresh and we get excited about a new year. This year we got excited about a new decade because it's 2020. Um, the same thing happens for me when I come off of a, a, a break like spring break. Even though it's just a week long, there's this newness, there's this freshness because we had a bit of a rest, a bit of a reset, and now we get to look forward to this coming week, the rest of the school year. And I think God has built into us this, um, this kind of mechanism that inspires us and excites us when we have something new. I think that's just part of who we are as humans. New things uh, excite us and new things give us energy to keep going and to keep uh, rolling on in this life of ours, right? Whatever it is, whether it's work, whether it's school, projects, whatever it is. So, new things. We're at the start of a new week. You guys just had spring break. And I want to read this scripture out of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. And it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, it's coming up. Do you not see it? Like, don't you see this new thing? I'm making a way in the wilderness, or I'm making this path through this kind of dense forest that you can't see through. I'm making a path for you. I'm making streams in the desert. If you think about that, if uh, a desert's no good, right? Because you got no water. But. I'm making streams in the desert. God is making a way. He's doing a new thing. And this scripture in Isaiah, it, it speaks to God's nature. It speaks to God's love for, for humanity. He's always wanting to do something new. He's always wanting to do something fresh. He is there to revive us and to get us through to the other side. We think about where we are. We thought after spring break, Perhaps we'd be back on campus. Perhaps we'd be back at school learning and kind of getting everything back in gear with our school year. But we know that that's not the case. Everything going on in our world has uh, made it 
so that we can't be together. And that's a bummer. I'm bummed out. Your teachers are bummed out. Your parents are bummed out. Believe me. And we're all just like, ah, this is, this is not what we expected. But I want us to think about perspective as we go through this next season. We're starting a new season. Easter's done. We've celebrated this resurrection of Christ. We were excited about it. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. We celebrated that, and now we are starting a new season as we end this school year, right? We don't know what this season is going to look like. There's a lot of exciting unknowns, but it is new. And so I encourage you, let's have a perspective shift. I know a lot of this online learning can seem old by now. It can seem like this is never going to end. Parents, if you're watching this, it can seem like, oh man, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I don't know how we're going to keep this up because we got to manage work. We got to manage the kids getting online, whatever it is. It can seem old, but let's all have students, parents, staff, everybody, let's have a perspective shift. Let's try our best to do that. Let's ask God for help in shifting our thinking from, man, this already seems old, to this is a new season that we have to tackle. There are a lot of new challenges in here, and we don't know how we are going to manage or make it through but we know God will help us if we ask him and we know that we can turn to him for help let's have that perspective shift let's let's be excited about the new challenges that will come in the coming weeks and in the coming months there are a lot of unknowns as I mentioned we don't know when we're going to be back on campus we don't know uh, what's going to happen in our society over the next few weeks, but we do know that we have to keep learning. We have to keep on going down this path as we as we pursue our education, as we finish out our school year, and we know that God is with us. Again, uh, God will never leave your side. Uh, he is always there. He is always our comfort and our peace in the midst of crazy, crazy things. Crazier things than sheltering in place. Crazier things than losing your job. Crazier things than a lot of the stuff that we are going through right now. All of our families, all of us individuals. God is with us through even crazier things than that. And I, I can speak from experience I've been through crazy things a lot of you have been through crazy things and God has never left your side so I encourage you let's have the perspective of let's tackle this new season this new challenge with God at our side let's celebrate all the new things the new online learning stuff the new uh, staying at home all day and trying to figure out how to learn through the internet the new videos that your teachers are going to be putting up. I'll be celebrating the new baby that I'm going to be having soon. Um, Jack will still be celebrating this new loft bed. What is it in your life right now that is new? Think about that. What is new in your life that you can be thankful for? Maybe you can thank God for what new stuff you have. Maybe you can thank your parents for new things you have new it's a new week let's have a new perspective i know it's hard i know it's difficult but let's try that's all we can do and so anthem students hey um your teachers and i we're, we're rooting for you we know that this online stuff is is a challenge it's a challenge for us as well but we're doing our best and we're here to help parents um God has new mercies for you every day as well as you, as your patience is tested, as your uh, resilience is tested in managing all this online stuff and having kids home all day. We know it's a challenge. We know that it is, is not ideal, but 
we're here to help uh, in whatever way we can, so please don't hesitate to contact us. And with that, I will end it, and uh, yeah, let's have a new perspective today. Let's go out and let's conquer this week, alright guys? Alright, bye. I'll just ask you like, no, I'm testing it out. Like, what? I'll say, let's practice, what was your favorite thing about Easter break? You don't know? No. What'd you do? Play video games the whole time? Yeah, okay. Alright, then I'll ask you like, hey, how do you like your new bed? Okay. And what do you think? What do you say? Yes. How do you like it? Yes? That's what we'll do? Okay. Good plan. Good plan. Um, um, I'll do thumbs up actually. Thumbs up? Yeah. Think they'll like it? Think you'll be a little happier in the actual video? Or no? Is this all you got? <laughs>